Hey, didn't see you there. Fuck, I hate doing these intros. <laughs> Hi, it's Beef. Today I'll be giving you a ultimate beginner's guide in setting up an Osu stream so that you can contribute to the hundreds of thousands of people who are streaming to absolutely no one. Uh, yeah. Alright, before I get into how to set things up, let me just show you what I'll actually be teaching you to set up. So first, obviously the game, as well as basic elements such as your alert box and chat boxes, as well as your PB counter and key overlay. Let's get into it. Alright, so now we're on our desktop. First thing we need to do is get a streaming application. Now I use OBS for my streams and recordings, but I highly recommend that you get Streamlabs OBS if you're starting out from scratch and you have like no idea what you're doing. So go down to the link below, bring you to streamlabs.com and then just click download. Once you've downloaded that, just go through the installation and I'll see you back here. Now once you're done downloading and installing and you open Streamlabs, you'll be greeted with this screen where it asks you to connect your account. Obviously Twitch, go ahead and select Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, choose whichever platform that you intend to stream on. For me, I'm streaming on Twitch, so I'll go ahead and select that. And then it'll ask you to log in. All right, once you've logged in, it'll ask you to access your account. These things are all safe from my experience and just click authorize. After you finish authorizing, Streamlabs will ask you to select a plan. Just choose starter because we don't have money and we're not going to pay for that shit. Streamlabs will ask to import from OBS or start fresh. For this, we're going to be starting from fresh. We'll set up your webcam and your microphone. Just choose whatever you need. Click continue. You can select a theme, but for this, we're just going to skip. And then additionally, Streamlabs will optimize your settings based on your internet speed. So go ahead and click optimize and then it will run it through. Once it's finished optimizing, you'll be greeted with this screen. On the top, you have your stream display, as well as a mini feed, your scenes, your sources, and your mixer. So, get things started. First, we're gonna get our Osu game into our scene. Feel free to rename your scene anything you want it to. I'll call it Osu Scene. And then we're gonna go ahead and open up our Osu. My game here is in windowed mode, just for easier view for this tutorial. Go back to your Streamlabs, click the plus button, choose Game Capture, add it as a source, and call it anything you want, I'll just call it Osu, and then add the source. For the mode, we're going to go down and select Capture Specific Window, and then we're going to make sure Osu is selected. Click Done. In a second, this will show up in our OBS. Alright, now it's showing up. As you can see, our window is actually smaller than our entire screen, so we're just going to go ahead and maximize that. If you have your game in full screen, you won't have to worry about it because it will definitely fill the screen up all the way. Okay, now that we have our game up, we're also going to be adding an alert box and a chat box. It's really simple, just go back to the plus button, click alert box and add it as a source. There's many settings that allow you to change your alert as well as the audio, but for this tutorial, I won't be teaching you how to do that. There's plenty of videos out there that can teach you how to do that, and I'm just not gonna waste your time here. Click done, and you'll have it in your screen. For the chat box, same thing, plus, chat box, add as a source, and you can play with the settings to change up how the chat box looks like. We'll go with Twitch, click done, and then we have it here. If you want to test this out, you can go onto your Twitch channel, type in whatever you want in the chat, and it should show up in this little box here. All right, now that we've got the simple stuff out of the way, let me teach you how to implement a PP counter. Down in the description below, I've provided a link to this page where you can find this program called Gosu Memory. So this is the program we'll be using to set up our PP counter. On the GitHub page on the right, just go down to releases, choose the latest release, and download the one for your operating system. If you're on Windows, download Windows AMD 64 and Linux AMD 64 as well. Click it, and you'll start downloading. Once it's downloaded, you'll have a raw file like this. Just right-click and extract files, and click OK. 
you'll get a folder with both the application as well as this folder. For now, we're only going to be touching this application. Once you open it, you see that it opens up this command prompt and it looks really sketchy and it looks like you're being a hacker or whatever, but it's okay. You don't have to worry about this. Next, go back to the GitHub page and scroll down to the usage topic. Over here, under number two, where it says run Gosu memory and Osu, just click on this link and it'll direct you to a list of different layouts that you can use. As you can see, if we open up classic, we can see how it looks like. Similarly, let's choose Monokai Pain. Also looks like this. And if we choose in-game three, it looks really small. So all you have to do is choose the layout that you like, copy the link, go back to your Streamlabs OBS. Once again, click plus, but this time we'll be adding a browser source. Add the source, call it whatever you like, and then paste the link into the URL section. Click done. As you can see, nothing is showing up, but that is because our Osu isn't hovering on any song yet. So if we go click, click play solo, and then we choose any song, let's choose Let's Jump. If we go back to our Streamlabs OBS, you'll see that we have our PP counter here. For this PV counter, it also shows your hits and misses when you play the song. So let's say we put it on auto. Let me go back to our Streamlabs. You can see that our counter is now showing the current PP, as well as hundreds, fifties, and misses. So each different layout can show something different. Let's say we want to change our layout. So let's choose dark and white. We can copy this, go back to our Streamlabs. Say we want to switch this up, change the URL, click done. And there you go. We have a different layout now. So there you have it. There's your PP counter. It's pretty much copy paste and really easy to set up. Just keep in mind that every time you do want this counter to show up, you will have to run Gosu memory. So if I close this, then this value of the PP counter will not update if I change the song. So keep in mind, you have to have Gosu memory open. The next thing we'll set up is the key overlay. Again, down in the description, there's a link to this key overlay page where you can just click here to download. Once again, just click on the raw file and it'll start the download. Okay, once your key overlay file has finished downloading, go ahead and extract that. Click OK. Now we have our folder, open the folder and run the overlay.exe. You'll notice the text is white and the background is black. The problem with this is that it's extremely hard to chroma key out. So we'll go to our config and in our color, make sure we set that to 255 in the middle there and also change the bar color to full opacity. Just copy these settings if you need them and we can close out. Once we reopen, you'll notice that background is now fully green and the bars are fully white. To add it to OBS, once again, we'll go to the plus. We'll add a window capture, call it anything you want. And now we want to choose key overlay. Click done and now it will show up, but with a green background. To chroma key the green background out, right click the key overlay, go to filters, edit filters, click the plus button, filter type, go down to chroma key, click done, and by default this should be green. However, if this is not green, just select it and choose green. And now you'll see that the background has been fully chroma keyed out and we can position it anywhere we want. And you can see when we press ZNX, it shows up on the game. Well, there you go. Hopefully this video was useful in setting up your OSU stream. And if it was, consider liking and subscribing if you want to see more of this kind of content. With that, I wish all of you very good luck in your streaming endeavors. Until next time.